snow headed our way, what better way to brighten our moods than to think about spring? Soon you'll have to dig out all of your short sleeves and tank tops, and that means you'll be showing off those upper arms. And to help us feel confident this spring, Allison McWilliams of Siren Fitness is here with five of the best exercises that will show off those arms. We're really looking forward to this because I cannot believe how quickly spring is going to be here, at least we're hoping anyway. So the five upper body exercises that you're focusing on deal with the figure eight band. Mm -hmm. what, what is different about this than, than other bands or weights or anything else that you could do at the gym? Um, it's just really great to break it up. So different resistance. It's really portable and easy to use. You can take it anywhere and you can do it in your home, traveling, outside, anywhere you want to go. And pretty affordable too. Really affordable. Okay, let's get to the five upper body exercises. Number one, chest press. So you just place it behind your back, abs are in tight, knees are bent, and you just a nice forward extension. So abs are in, shoulders back and down, chest lifted, you're going to feel your upper pecs, your shoulders and your arms. You always feel your arms when you're also working your chest. Are there multiple, this reminded me, different colors that are different um, you know, resistance Great levels? Great question, yes. So you can start with a light and then as you get stronger you can go into the medium and then there'll be a different color for the heavier one. Okay, so start yeah. maybe easier and then move your way up. I love how her Please. voice stays nice and steady. <laughs> doing chest presses. Okay, number two, back and shoulders. We're doing reverse flies. Yep, so again, um, feet together, knees bent, abs, they in tight, and then just pulling straight back again, shoulders back and down, chest lifted, squeezing your shoulder blades, working your shoulders. You always work your arms again when you work your back and your chest. We can hear you hitting that mic. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the opposing muscle group then, is what you're doing, you're working. Perfect. And that's what a lot of people need to remember is to always work your opposing muscle groups. Okay, so, so do know. the chest and then switch to the back and the shoulders. Number three, also for the back and shoulders, pull downs. Yep, so you can stand again, it's great for the lats coming straight down and we used to always pull behind our heads yeah. and now it's great to, and they've changed it to pull in front, a little easier on your shoulders, a lot of people have shoulder injuries, males and females. So important to remember to not to go behind but yes. to go in front. Just pulling them straight in front again, working the shoulders and back. Is that um, the same since you brought this up as the machine at the gym that the you, lat, can, you want yep. to pull that in front? The lat pull down. Because I see a lot of people do that in back yeah. as well. Okay. And try it out, you'll notice how much more comfortable it is in front. To do it in front. Uh -huh. All right, number four, tricep extensions. Oh, good. Yep, so you're just going to bring this behind. Your arm is overhead again, knees bent, abs in tight, extending straight up. And you're just holding the bottom of, why don't you turn a little bit to the side so that we can see. So you're just holding the bottom right there. And, mm -hmm. then... and if you want to make it a little bit harder, you can just lower your arm down so the resistance is a little tougher. Or go up to a different band. So how many um, exercises of each of these would you be doing? Um, you can do like a regular set, so you can do 12 to 15 reps, or you could go until failure, so if you want to do high reps and endurance, and then you could do that whole circuit, and then do it again three times, four times. You're going to be getting your heart rate up, and you're still just doing, just doing resistance training. All right, number five, a bicep curl. Again, opposing muscle group to the triceps. Great. And then you just step on um, the figure eight with one foot. Abs are in again, shoulders back and down, just doing a regular bicep curl. Doesn't this make you jealous? <laughs> <laughs> Your arms are awesome, but you do this pretty for regularly. Living. How much? Well, right, you do it for a living. <laughs> and but for somebody who really wants to tone up, how often should they lift their arms? Um, two times a week would be great. Actually, your whole body. Two to three times a week for strength training is important for everybody. And separate it by arms one day, legs one day, or do it all. But you can mix either way. You can okay. do your whole body one day and rest. Or you can do arms one day, legs the opposite day. Our minds are ticking because just think spring is right around right. the corner. Allison, thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. it as always. And if you would like more information on these workouts, just head to our web channel, NBC15.com. Click on news links and we'll link you up to the ladies at Siren Fitness.